detectives and welcome to my March book recommendations. As I've said in my other video, I've decided to split out my book recommendations from explanations about what I'm doing in my writing life. I'm going to be talking about the books that I've been reading that I think you also will really enjoy. As usual, I've got five recommendations and my first one is this one. This obviously is The Painted Dragon by Catherine Woodfine. Now, I'm pretty sure if you know me at all, you're not surprised that this is my first recommendation or that I thought this book was fantastic. Catherine and I are really great friends and we both share a love of historical mysteries. And I think that her Sinclair's mystery series is one of the most brilliant children's mystery series around at the moment. I absolutely love them and I wait for each new installment just like you. This is the third book in her series. There's going to be another one coming in the autumn that will be the end of this quartet of books, which knowing that makes me really sad, but also I'm really excited for that final installment to find out what happens. The heroines of this book are Sophie and Lil, uh, Catherine's two fabulous girl detectives who solve mysteries in Sinclair's department store. This mystery is their first art heist, and I loved it because I, of course, am about to publish my own art heist mystery. This is a totally a different kind of art heist, but it is still all about what happens when a very famous, very expensive painting goes missing. This is a fantastic book and you'll love it if you are 8 plus. It really is for the same age group as read my books. Next is another middle grade book, See You in the Cosmos, Carl Sagan. Now I have a, what's called a proof copy. This isn't the finished cover, but you can see inside that is the title, See You in the Cosmos, Carl Sagan by Jack Cheng. This is a book that is very different from the Sinclair's Mysteries I was just talking about. It's set in America and it's about a little boy called Alex who really wants to launch a rocket into space. Alexander lives in Colorado with his mother and his dog, Carl Sagan. And one day he decides to go on a road trip to realize his dreams and to launch his rocket into space. Um, Alex's trip then gets derailed in ways that I won't tell you about. It's really beautiful, really funny, exciting story. I don't particularly care about space in general, but I was really drawn into this story. I loved Alex's narration and I think you will absolutely love it if you like good writing, road trip stories and books about kids trying to work out who exactly they are. Um, so this again is for about eight plus. Although I think that if an adult read this, they would enjoy it in very different ways to a child. I think it's one of those books that no matter how old you are, you can get something really special and interesting out of it. My next book is a very beautiful one, and it is The Pavi and the Buffer Girl by Siobhan Dowd, illustrated by Emma Shord. Now, this is a book that was originally released as a short story in an anthology a long time ago. It actually was Siobhan's very first published work back before she wrote um, The London Eye Mystery, before she became really famous but it has now been republished by her publishers, Barrington Stoke. Barrington Stoke is a publisher that specializes in making books that can be read by people with dyslexia, um, with other reading difficulties. They're great stories. They can be read whether or not you have any reading difficulties. I think it's a really important, great program and they are getting some fantastic books on their list. It has now been illustrated by Emma Shord, who is an incredibly talented artist. She's done gorgeous work. The book is just stunning as you read it. It's about a traveler boy and a non-traveler girl who of course meet and fall in love even though they have a lot of things very different about them. It's sort of a Romeo and Juliet story um, set in Ireland and it's really beautiful. It's told in Siobhan's beautiful wonderful voice um, and I loved reading it. Uh, I would say this was for a little bit older than the other two books I've just talked about, probably about 12 plus. This next book is one that is very special to me. It is uh, Huntress C by Sarah Driver and it is a book that I read and I absolutely loved. It is a rich, imaginative, exciting world where there are, sort of, there are monsters in the skies and in the sea. People travel around on boats. And as you can see, if you can see there, um, this is my quote and I say, it's a glorious world, a wild adventure and a fierce heroine. I can't stop thinking about this book. I am so proud to have my name on this and even prouder to know that it is this month's Waterstones Children Book of the Month. They realized how great it is too. So you'll be able to find it every everywhere you go. The cover is beautiful. Mouse really is an 
unforgettable heroine. The world that Sarah has built is unlike anything I read before. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Philip Pullman in that richness, the depth of the magic and wonder. But it is something that I think you'll find really special and really exciting. It is for eight plus. The publishers, Egmont, have been kind enough to give me two copies. So that means that I have one copy to give away. If you are watching this and you would like to win a copy of The Huntress C, you should comment below uh, saying why you'd like to win it and I will choose one of you and I will send this book to your address, which you should only give me when I email you. So please just comment with um, your name and the fact that you would love to win this book and why and then I'll get in touch with you and we'll arrange me sending it to you. But this is a book that I want to put in as many people's hands as possible so I'm really pleased that I'm able to do a giveaway for it, my first giveaway on this channel. I always end my recommendations by choosing one classic book that's inspired me and I have really enjoyed. Usually I choose a mystery story, usually I choose a story that I read when I was about your age, but this month I've done something a bit different because I've been doing a lot of reading for book six and one of the best books I think I read, one of the most useful books and most interesting books, the book that I would recommend to you is Guaylo by Martin Booth. This is Martin Booth's autobiography about the time that he spent in Hong Kong as a little European kid living there with his parents in the 1950s. So I can sort of count it as a classic um, and it does have that kind of older feel that I'm hoping to evoke in book six. Obviously it's 20 years after um, Hazel and Daisy visit Hong Kong, but it was something that was really useful to me in my research. And this, I think, is a really, really well-written book. Sometimes you don't know whether autobiographies are going to be well-written, but this is incredibly good. It's funny, it's really interesting. He paints such a vivid picture of his life in Hong Kong and what his childhood was like, what his parents were like, um, how much he didn't really like his father, uh, which is a big theme in this. Um, it kind of reminds me of one of my favourite childhood biographies, um, Gerald Durrell's My Family and Other Animals. I would say that it's a little bit more mature than my book, so I'd say it's for about 12 plus. Um, so that's it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy reading all of those recommendations and of course I also hope that you enjoy reading Cream Buns and Crime when it comes out on the 23rd of March. I will see you in April.